<laughs> so we placed an order on cleanrun.com, um, which, yes, Dennis, can I help you? Can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> He's ridiculous. Um, basically every package that comes in the mail is for him now. Um, so cleanrun.com does dog agility equipment. <laughs> Um, and like dog sports, that kind of thing. Um, so agility stuff is, um, it's actually pretty expensive. Yeah, you like that? Go play with your ball. Um, it's pretty expensive, but um, Clean Run does like basic jump pulls for like $25. So um, they look like this, but you assemble them and they turn into, uh, actually we have some here. We placed an order with them before. Um, we ordered one set of jump poles, which it's like two, it's two bars that look like this, like upright bars, and then the crossbar that goes across them. Um, so those like basic jump poles that clean them at $25, which is not bad at all. Um, so we needed some more jumps, so we ordered two more of those. Um, so we're gonna have to assemble these at some point. I'll just put them down. Um, and we've also ordered these poles from them, which um, I don't remember exactly. I'm going to drop all of this. I don't remember exactly how much the lead poles were, but I want to say like maybe 50 or 60. We'll put it in the description. But um, I think it comes in a set of like six or eight. I'm going to say eight, actually. I think it's uh, eight. Maybe eight? I can count them. Really quickly. Oh, actually, it's six. Six? It's okay. six, yeah. Um, can't really see them, but they look like this. They're all attached to each other, and then you just like pull them out into a straight line. They come in this nice bag. Yeah. Um, it has like this um, kind of like um, articulating base that yeah, keeps like it all together. Yeah. And you can arrange it in different orientations. Right, yeah. We'll, we'll show a picture later. Yeah. Um, yeah, so those were not crazy cheap, but also like for weave poles and for jelly equipment. Yeah, I mean for six things, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's a lot of plastic. So clean run, I think free shipping is like, you have to spend over $100 and we on principle never pay for shipping. So of course I had to buy him a bunch of other stuff, um, which it wasn't actually that much other stuff, um, but it's all stuff that we're probably gonna end up using for training. It's like toys that we're gonna use exclusively for training um, as like a reward and also just to get them motivated and pumped up. Oh, but the first thing, I've been really curious about this actually. Um, it's in a Ziploc bag, which is kind of weird. <laughs> it's a little strange, but whatever. We have an extra Ziploc bag now. Um, it's a Lickety Sticks in sharp cheese flavor. He knows that this is a, this is a treat. So basically, it's, okay, it's natural with added vitamins. There's one calorie in every 10 licks, and it's like a lickable dog treat. Um, Ingredients, natural chicken flavors, dried cheese product, condensed cultured skim milk, natural cheese flavor, natto extract, mixed to cough rolls, rosemary extract, green tea extract, ascorbic acid. Oh, and that's it. Um, so I don't know what they mean by like natural chicken flavors, but I hope it's real chicken. We'll see. Uh, well, I guess we won't see. We'll never know. But, you know, it seemed interesting, and it's certainly like a low-calorie way to... To reward him. Now if I could get it open, that would also be really helpful. He's like ready for it. I'm trying, Guinness. I'm trying to get it open for you. <laughs> He's getting frustrated. I know. I know. <laughs> he has like zero patience. It's the most ridiculous thing. <laughs> you whiny little pup. You're so whiny. Good boy. I'm trying. I really am trying my hardest, Jenna. All right, let me put the plastic down. So yeah, the top comes off. I got some plastic in my mouth. And it's like a little rollerball thing. Hmm. So he licks that? He licks. It's actually really stiff. Let me see if I can get it. It's kind of like the little hamster ball things. Yeah, like the water. Um, water dispenser. Yeah, the yeah. water dispensers for hamsters. Let's see if he can figure this out. The problem is he's very gentle. It smells um, very meat-like. Yeah, well it's chicken yeah. and sharp cheese flavor. Mm. Yeah, it has a distinct pungent he's aroma. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I don't get it. This is too much work. Well, yeah, the problem is he's a very gentle treat taker. Mm. So I'm not sure if he's actually gonna like lick hard enough to roll the ball. 
Well, I think the ball is kind of like congealed right now. I think you have to roll it a couple times in order to get it started. Yeah, yeah. see? Now it's a little better. Yeah, that's true. Because yeah, it's just right. in the shipping, it's probably just congealed a little bit. Yeah, there's like a little bit yeah, of Yeah, he seems to really inside. like it. Yeah, so I mean, it's like, it's supposed to be pretty good for when you're training because he can just do like a quick lick and then. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hmm. yeah, sit. Okay. Good boy. Down. Okay. Good boy. Okay, let's see the. the yeah. That could be. It could be nice because it's, it's like pretty clean for your hands and you can yeah, just keep it in your sit. pocket. Good boy. Right. Good boy. Yeah, I kind of like this concept huh. actually. That's interesting. That's kind of a cool concept. You know what the actual form factor probably is? It's probably from one of those. Um, oh, like, like the candies. Well, I was thinking uh, shoe polish. That's not what I was thinking. Yeah, but maybe I'm wrong. I was thinking like children's candy. Yeah. No, oh. definitely not that. <laughs> Maybe, who knows? What Shaped kind of like shoe polish. Get to the other stuff. I don't remember what I ordered from them. Plus, it's a really long box. It smells really strong. Um, oh, yeah, this looked kind of cool. Um, it's a, I don't know if it's a W disc or a WO disc. Um, it's like a frisbee. It's for disc dog? Yeah, toss it, float it, recycle it. Love it. It's floating? Uh, it floats, yeah. It's okay. FDA compliant, BPA free. Mm -hmm. uh, each row disc you purchase provides meals for orphan children. Really, this a block bag? Well, it has like these holes, um, so it's I guess easier for him to actually yeah. grab it with his mouth. And he has he's exactly. a pretty small dog, so. And it's also a really soft rubber. Yeah. So like a lot of the time, the worry with plastic is that it'll like injure his mouth. Mm -hmm. So with this, he can get his mouth around it, and also it'll be a little softer for him, hopefully. Okay. Um, that's cool. Each product you purchase will help a widow or an orphan in a developing country. Orphan dog? No, orphan child. Orphan human. Okay. Yeah. Very different. He wants it. He does want it. Good. Just Boy. let him bite it, I guess. You won't be able to open it without yeah. his scissors. You want it? Do you want it? <laughs> yeah? You want it? I guess the question will be if this Boy. is durable enough to survive him chewing on it and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll find out. But uh, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I would like to get him into Frisbee. So far, I mean, he's interested. But not necessarily interested enough to um, chase and catch and all that stuff. So this was one of the toys that I'm hoping he'll be excited enough uh, to go train with. Well, he already wants it. All right, this is a good sign. All right. Um, so these are like toys that we'll just give him during training and then take away. Yeah, for agility card training, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just to like get him motivated. Yeah, you like that? You like that? Yeah, it's a little springy. Hmm. Um, so like it gives, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it feels more real. Um, yeah, it like gives a little bit of resistance. Yeah, probably I, like I don't it like tugging outwards. It increases the prey drive a little bit. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> All right, good. Let's see if I... <laughs> okay. If I let it go, what happens? I'm going to take it away from him. Yeah, yeah, no, he yeah, you should take it, it away. He does. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nope, you don't get to keep it. You don't get to keep it. Um, he's gonna be so confused. He's like, but I get to keep all my other toys. And then I got one more thing, I think. We'll find out. Um, let me get out of the bottom of this box. Oh, no, I bought two uh, more things. Clickers? I bought a bag of clickers. They have clickers for like. Yeah, these are the. These are like the, the Karen Pryor, Karen Pryor eye clicks. clickers. Yeah. yeah, they're really easy to click. These are the ones that we use the most. Right. Or the, the ones that the only ones that we use. We still have wristbands, right? Uh, I think we have some more. Yeah, because yeah. we usually put like the little um wristbands on them. Yeah. Um, I like how everything comes in Ziploc bags. It's kind of yeah. cute, actually. Yeah, they sound exactly like other ones. Yeah, I think they're the same exact things. I mean, um, let me take a look at them. Yeah, I mean, if you look closely, they'll the 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 real products will all say Karen Pryor product on the on the, uh, on the rear side, yeah. kind of in, in, in inset of the clicker. Yeah, like the thumb placement. Place. Yeah. Um, um, and it's nice because like they don't, it doesn't require much pressure to actually click yeah. it, but it's not so soft that you accidentally click it either. Yeah, it has and, a really good spring yeah, in it. Yeah. And it's also not super loud. Like, it's, it's not very loud. Pleasant yeah. click. Yeah. 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 Um, I agree. I. I you don't like to break your fingers. Trying to click it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Or for girls, I guess you don't break your nails. You're so sexist. I know. <laughs> Terrible. Um, this is the Spot Forest Series Mini Skinnies. Stuffing free dog toy for long lasting play. Um, we already kind of know that he loves yeah. no stuff. He loves like, stuffing free toys. He likes murdering things, is basically the bottom Well, line. I think it most closely resembles an actual animal. Yeah. Like, I mean, they kind of flop around. And it has squeakers. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one I can actually put out. Okay. Off. Yeah, he already wants it. Yeah, he, he loves these wants ones. It. Like, he previously had a similar fox type thing, I think. He killed but it. You dropped something. I know, I dropped all the plastic bits. I'm gonna get Just them. Just grab them. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. That was scary. That was scary. That's right. He'll start whining again soon. Yeah, I know. I really want to take we have to train that out of him. Two oh, squeakers. okay. Has a squeaker. Two squeakers. Okay. <laughs> I guess the only problem with these is that he tends to vivisect them, yeah. um, but it's okay. Yeah, look at, look at his tail go. Mm -hmm. He's so happy. But I'm going to be taking that one away from you too. <laughs> he's a little tired right now, so he's yeah. not like full on destroying it. Yeah. But normally he, um, he like jumps around. Um, just like thrashing these things so that you can like properly murder them. Okay. All right, that's all I bought you. That's it. <laughs> all right, so that's cleanrun.com. Um, it's the only place we bought agility equipment so far, but you know, we've been happy with the jumps and yeah. the people's. And like, um, for the jumps, like, you know, to price it out with the actual PVC and making it yourself. It ends up costing about the same. Like yeah, uh, you try I, it, right? I, I was trying to price it out, and I just wanted to. I mean, I have tools at home. I could just uh, cut the PVC myself, but it ends up costing the same or less actually to just buy it yeah. from them. So we end up just buying it from them. So yeah, cleanrun.com. Thank you. Cleanrun.com. All right, bye. I'm gonna go grab this toy from him.